two loading screens doing it the other way. That would have been much more efficient. Retrospectus 2020, hindsight. Perfectly clear. I see now the mistake of my ways. Oh, and what do we have here? I wonder if he gave me a spell. Conjuration ritual. Let's, uh, let's see here. Conjure Dremora Lord. For some reason, I don't think that's it. Summon Unbound Dremora. Summons an Unbound Dremora for a bunch of seconds. Oh, it looks like it's a master level spell, the way he's charging up. This is too cool. I love the If you wish to challenge me, then let's do it. You will do as I say. I have kin of yours that do serve me. You'll likely never touch me, buddy. And before I kill him, I just want to see. I don't know that I can. The book says I can't. A common soul gem, I don't have a black one or a grand one. Okay, I'm not even going to try to capture his soul then. Well, he disappeared. I don't know that that's what I needed to happen there. Okay, hold up. Let's try this again. You might want to back up, you know. This might get ugly. Oh, I just canceled it just too early. Dang it. Okay, here we go. Holding, holding, holding. Light up now, do it. Are you ready to submit? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to stop this, dude. You can't even swing that big stupid hammer of yours. So, given that the dialogue differed, I assume that I just have to summon him a couple different times and beat him. It would be great if I could search him. No, no. It'd be awesome if I could get it to glitch and let me pull a, a heart out. So again, my plaything, come to me. Once I get my alteration up here soon, I'm gonna be ditching all of this armor, including, very likely, he's got a glass war axe, that's stupid. He doesn't have Daedric stuff. He's got Daedric armor, he doesn't have a Daedric weapon. Will you submit, or do I need to banish you again? No, I submit. What is your bidding, master? Bring me a sigil stone. Now. Yes, my lord. Summon me again, and I shall have your stone. He does not sound very happy about all this. Alright, so here we go. Is it still... It's not still locked and loaded. I already called it off and pulled my fire up, expecting to have to roast his buttocks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel the power! Boom! Well, he switched weapons. Yeah, so... There we go. Can I kill him one more time? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Come on, fight me. One last time? Nope, he's not gonna do it. Okay. Screw him then. Let him go back in his own time. 999 seconds. How long is that? Let's see. What is it? 240 is 4 minutes. 300 is 5 minutes. So, uh, 15 minutes plus 90 seconds, a minute and a half. It's like 16 and a half minutes. Where ever has I Phineas I escaped to? My father on hunting expeditions into Morrowind. The cliff racers made for excellent sport. Maybe downstairs somewhere? Who do we have here? Onmund. Oh, that's right. I'm in the wrong hall. I don't think Phineas normally, uh, normally frequents the halls of attainment. He's more of a countenance kind of guy. So, Phineas, 
he's gonna see the Dremora with me. He's gonna be like, Oh God! <laughs> You did it! He's he's here! Why'd you bring him here? Few places where one can pursue my type of work. I have your sigil stone. Mine? Oh no. The stone is yours. I simply need to borrow it for a moment. Now, Good. Let's see what there is to see. Don't you don't you lay back down. You're supposed to be looking at something. That gotta... incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding. Did I get some kind of sigil? I do not see anything. No matter what the guards claim, the people of Skyrim. What have did no you system. see? I have the knowledge I need, and so you may have your stone back. And also, please take this. You have done well. Spell tome, flame thrall, sigil stone added. Okay, so okay. check this out. He just now gave me one of the first ones. Summons a flame atronach permanently. Boom! Until I have to cast it. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Dramora, but you're going bye bye. That's the apprentice level. Flame thrall. There it is. Oh, it's a it's a it's a two-hander. No matter. I guess all the masters level master level spells are two-handers. That was a pretty uh, quick cast. So check that out. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. What? <laughs> Forty-seven thousand nine hundred fifty-two hours is how long that flame atronach will last. That's funny. That there's actually a number there. That's kind of crazy. That's cool though. I now have the uh, the thrall. Let me check my inventory and make sure I've still got all the stuff on me that I needed. Um, only one ebony ing ingot. That's kind of a downer. I would like to have two, and I don't have the soul gems I need. So let me run back up to my storage real fast. Whoa, that is crazy looking. In uh, in Oblivion, you had to frequent Oblivion gates. You had to go to the plane of Oblivion often. And whenever you were over there, you had to take one of these sigil stones out of the top of a tower, and it would bring the entire realm down down into flames and would teleport you instantly out of the Oblivion Gate. So you could essentially just sprint through any given area like that. You could just run right past enemies. By the time you got up to the sigil stone, you could just jump off the platform, and before you hit the ground, you would teleport out, which was pretty handy. Okay, I'm going to chop this. Uh, I'm just going to go back up to my storage. I'm going to grab a couple things. And then I'm going to go down to the Atronach Forge and use it up. This is really random, but it occurred to me that I told you guys that I had done a little bit of a dungeon run off camera in between grabbing some souls um, when I was just trying to make some money to get my conjuration skill up. Um, I wanted to have that off camera so that I had the Atronach Forge stuff kind of all in one block, so it wasn't all chopped up and here and there. Um, but I mentioned something. I mentioned that I had gotten level 2 of Stormcall there, but I never said where I got that, and that could be really handy information. It just now occurred to me that I never, I never let you guys know. Uh, this place right here is called Highgate Ruins, and I had a courier note that said I should go there, and that is where the Dragon Priest Volkun is, and where a word of storm call is. So that's the dungeon I went and did off camera. Um, there's not really a whole lot to note other than that. I killed a lot of Draugr, I got a lot of souls, I made some money, I got Conjuration up, and now I'm proceeding to the Atronach Forge. Alright, here we are at last at the Atronach Forge with most of the items that I need to start crafting, including the sigil, the most important piece. I want to note one thing right before I start. Um, the guide calls for Centurion Cores for any of the Daedric items, except for the random piece of armor. Um, I was not able to find any Centurion cores, but I was able to find Centurion Dynamo cores. These come off master level, uh, which, which ones was it? The uh, Automatons, I think? Uh, the Centurion Masters, I think, something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping that this Centurion Dynamo core will substitute for a, ch a Centurion core. Uh, hopefully it'll be the same thing. And I'm hoping something else as well. Um, there's a way to make a Tome of Storm Atronach. I'm going to hope that that is Storm Atronach Thrall, although it does not say so. So if I make a spell book of Storm Atronach, uh, well, crap, I already have that spell. Doesn't really help me a whole much. A uh, whole bunch. Oh, well. I'll just have to sell it. 
Um, so what the Tome of Storm Atronach calls for is, first off, a ruined book and a mammoth tusk one death bell yep death bell there we go. and then uh... void salts alright so let's take a look at what we got death bell mammoth tusk ruined book void salts oh yeah sigil stone haha <laughs> pool bar mm, boom Skyrim is one of the most dangerous faces Would you it's look at that? And I'm 690. I'm thinking that's going to be the spell. I already know. Ah. Oh, well. I guess I got a book to sell. To uh, and you know what? I think that that book was not harder to find, but more valuable than the combined items that I just now put in the box to create it. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a way to make money. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I mean, the Mammoth Tusk was the most valuable thing there. It was like 150. Okay, so, book, uh, it's a no-go. Well, it's a go, but it's a, yeah, 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 not grand. Uh, so just for giggles, I'm going to make a staff of Storm Atronach. All right, this calls for, and this is going to be a chance to test something. This calls for uh, Void Salts, a Broom, or a Chalcom uh, ingot or ore. You only need one piece. You can do either an ingot or ore of ore a chalcum. Uh, and then a greater, or a great, grand, or black soul gem. So I'm going to try a great soul gem, and I'm specifically going to try one without a soul in it. Just to see that it works. And it would be cool if it did. Uh, do I need anything else from miscellaneous? Yeah, the ore, or a chalcum, or a chalcum, or... I guess I got an ingot. That's okay. <sighs> that's a quest item. What? What? Crap. I have to go back upstairs real quick. Uh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Alright, let me go grab the actual ore. Okay, let's try this staff again. Greater Soul Gem. Uh, okay, so the one that's a quest item is separated. Good deal. Or a Um, Broom. Is that in here too? Broom. A uh, broom in it up. And then, last but not least. Oh, it's salts! Wow, I wish there was a scroll bar on ingredients, and really on miscellaneous too, because these lists get huge. Pool bar. And... Transmutate my broom in two. Staff of the Storm Atronach. Wow. Almost 1,700 gold value. Uh, a great soul gem goes into that. You don't even have to have a soul in it. That is a way to make some money! I'm keeping every broom I find now. Holy crap. That is uh, that is nice, actually. That is a really good turnover on money. Because remember, what went into that was just void salts, a great soul gem, uh, a broom, and an or, or a chalcum ingot. So next thing I want to try, I think I want to try to turn Mjol's hammer into a Daedric hammer. I'm itching for a fight. Yeah. No problem. Give me I your can weapon, carry a good bit of gear. You're gonna like this ebony war hammer. Oh no, I'm carrying all too set. much. Let's go. That's quite all right. So ebony war hammer, and then I'm gonna need the Daedra heart. I know a Daedra heart. Put an enchantment on it. All right. So next, I'm gonna try to get a random piece of Daedric armor, and this is most likely gonna go straight to Mule. And to do that, I need to start with an ebony ingot. Ebony ingot. Then I need a Daedra Heart, Void Salts, and a Filled Soul Gem. Greater, Grand, or Black. So I'm going to go with a Grand Soul Gem. Actually, I'm going to go with Greater. Um, I have a hunch that the size of the Soul Gem might... This is supposed to come with a random enchantment, too. A random piece of armor that comes with a random enchantment. And I have a feeling that the soul gem level is going to affect the enchantment. But I'm going to go with the lowest possible. Greater? Lowest possible cost overall. Daedra Heart and Void Salts. Is that right? Void Salts? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. That sounds like it should be something Atronach. Boy, I grabbed just the right amount of some of those. Pool Bar, let's see my random piece. Let's... See my... What? 
What's in the box? Let us review. Ebony ingot, check. Daedra heart, check. Void salts, check. Filled soul gem, greater, grander, black. Greater filled soul gem with a greater soul. Let me try grand. Oh, no, 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 no. You went out. I did not want you to go out of the menu. I wanted to put a grand soul in. Boom! So a greater soul does not work. Whoa. Sweet! I was hoping it was going to do the armor. Look at what Mule's wearing. She's still wearing orcish armor. It's the worst piece of armor she's got. Guess what? Oh, yeah. We just got her one heck of an upgrade. Let's take a look at it. Daedric? Daedric? Is it called something else? Um, I feel like I'm being retarded right now. Oh, here we go. Daedric armor revival. I was, too. It was right there where D is supposed to be. Health regenerates 50% faster. That's even a pretty decent enchant to have my, on my follower. But before I give it to me... Oh! <laughs> yeah, that actually... That kind of fits. That, that makes me think of, uh, like, World of Warcraft Mage right there. The shoulder pads... Yeah, everything in WoW has amazing shoulder pads, though, so. Well, yo, I'm you are gonna love this. No the bad problem. thing is that I'm probably gonna I have to carry... carry uh, I guess I can let her keep carrying the orcish armor until I get somewhere where I can do something else with it. Oh, tell me she's not gonna use that. Oh, don't make me smack some... What? What? Let's what is going on here, Mo yo? No problem. What is your major malfunction? Do I have to take this from you? Wow. She looks awesome now, though. Okay, I've got to give no something problem. else to her because I'm overweight. Uh, Dwarven Greatsword, sure. Am I underweight now? No, I'm 303. I'm still just over. Iron Warhammer of Ice. Get rid of it. All set. Okay, so there's my brand new follower. Um, if I can do something to get her a helmet sometime soon, that's going to be my next priority. And there you have an introduction to the... Atronach Forge. I was getting ready to call it the Daedra Forge because I got so much Daedric stuff out of there. Uh, wait a second. Can I do... I think I can do one more thing, actually. Let me try. Let's see here. Daedra Heart's going to be the question. Do I have another Daedra Heart? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Okay, Daedra Heart, two pieces of raw meat, and a human skull. Yeah, you guys heard me right. Human skull. Porker meat and dog meat. Why not? Oh, no, no. Go back in. Go back in. I'm not done. Please, open. And a human skull. Is it H? Human? Human? Human skull? Maybe it's just skull. Skull. Skulls for the skull probe. And pool bar. This is supposed to summon a Dremora. Whoa. He's like a named Dremora, too. Check this out. Mule gets to use her new hammer. Oh, miss. That might have been a miss. No, he's on fire. I think that actually hit. Oh, actually, maybe my Dramora. My Dramora Lord causes fire. Steel sword, great sword of burning. 300, uh, that's really heavy. Yes, a Daedra Heart. Interesting. So he required a Daedra Heart, two pieces of raw meat and human skull, and he gives you back a Daedra Heart. So essentially summoning a Dramora, I bet I could have... Ah, I should have tried to soul trap him too. Um, I bet summoning... Do I have... I don't have another human skull. Summoning a, a Dramora would potentially give you a pretty good return on just two pieces of raw meat and human skull, because you get the heart right back. Um, Alright, well there you have the forge. Um... I think I'm going straight into Daedric quests now, guys. Uh, I've The only other really priority that I, I've got, the only other thing that I want to show right before the Daedric quests is this uh, Sundarian quest, the, the Crimson Nernroot quest. I don't think I'm going to get into that quite yet, though. And I actually probably need to check first. If this Discerning the Transmundane is not a Daedric quest, if I'm wrong about it, then uh, A, it's stupid that I haven't done it yet because it's got an amazing reward. Um, but B, I'll go ahead and do it before the Daedric quests. Uh, so, chop chop.